What? There's the thing. Oh, you ain't noticed that was the I thing. We taking a beeline through the snow. Oh. I didn't say you can't walk on the snow. I was. I was walking over there. I was gonna take the road. Yeah. Out here in the in the snow. Just taking a comfortable walk, a cool, nice walk. Beautiful walk, coming to see this Tekken. Some people know it as Avolis. <laughs> Some people know it, this is Cleopatra's Needle. One of a set. Um, I'm gonna go over here and have a little simple ceremony. This is the Winter Solstice time. So dealing with the energies, not Christmas. Um, and I just leave it at that. You know, um, hopefully it's all good. Everything's nice. And we're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. over here work on those energies like I said the winter solstice is in comparison the nephis the unknown you know what I'm saying dealing with the sun is still so we're gonna um the unknown or the thought realm which is around the Christmas time thing which opens up into the manifestation of energies that become part of the real world as you go forth. So now, we're gonna, um, like I said, gonna go over here. I got some personal things I'm gonna do, but we're just gonna work it out. <clears throat> Hello? Why don't you turn around for me one time? Why don't you slow down for a second? Oh, oh you ain't hear me talking to you. No, oh, you, you stop. You think that's what you were doing that? I am doing that, but um, this is um, a special occasion for, for me and hopefully a special occasion for you. So here it is, this is uh, in New York City, Central Park, Cleopatra's Needle, the Ovilus, the Tekken, Osiris's penis, or for all your comedic heads that want to keep it proper, Osiris Phallus. That's the museum, uh, Metropolitan Art, whatever the case may be. So it's behind that. If you ever felt like taking a trip and was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that shit at. All you gotta do is right behind there and be easy. So let's, um, I'm gonna get it y'all in a minute. Oh, in fact, let me just, this trip in the snow. The hieroglyphs on here is kind of beat down. So, whatever you can see, appreciate it. Enjoy whatever you can see. Those are little crabs on the edge. For whatever reason they put them there, I don't know. Cause they ain't got nothing to do with what, what this symbolizes or what's, what's put on there. 
What's up? What you want? What you want? I want my camera, please. Oh, you want your camera so you can be all camera happy. <laughs> What's yeah? That's uh. It's a beautiful thing. Like I said, this is the winter solstice. Dealing with the unknown or the thought realm which manifests to its climax which will be the summer solstice the manifestation of whatever you got going on you definitely want to um, take business with both of those and you got the equinox equal sun equal night or equal day equal night springtime and fall time you work that out that's like uh, the surface of coming into being or falling from grace if, if you want to use those terms and I hope you like what I spoke about and work it out you know what I'm saying don't forget all of this is um, not key but beneficial as you understand um, the year of the dragon which is 2012 when everybody was scared of uh, Planet X, aka Nibiru, you know what I'm saying, and 2000, 2013, which is this year, which is coming to a close, it's the year of the snake, the dragons are the people who should have put down their business, put down their work, manifest what they did, you know what I'm saying, the divine black people are the dragons, and the snake it's the energy, so it's that divine energy, which is 2013. For, for everybody who was putting in their work to profess that they're dragons or profess the manifestation of dragons, to be followed up by the snake, which is the energy, so that what you put in manifestation should not be charged and powered to come forth as is. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you missed a boat, you didn't get on time. Time is, yeah, time is of the essence, but time is irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen. Now we're going to 2014. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you worked on yourself in some manner so you can manifest and be who you're supposed to be. For me, in all cases, it's those dragons. And this is just an ancient artifact that you could put your hands on. As you see, it's right there. And link to your ancestors. All right, I'll get back at you in a minute. Can I get back at you in a minute? Uh, I think I'm gonna get back at you in a minute. Yeah, so I was talking about the energies, the different stuff, um, linking up with the ancestors through the artifacts. If you have the pleasure to be around artifacts, you know what I'm saying, without barriers like glasses and big borders and don't touch me type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, when you got artifacts that you can come in contact with, you know what I'm saying, the, help move you along, you know what I'm saying, your role with coming in contact with the ancestors or just the ancient energies, you know what I'm saying, you have things that you make with your own intent to become artifacts or contemporary artifacts as I would say, you know what I'm saying, um, to link those energies up so that they draw forth from the past and add on to the future, you know what I'm saying, uh, I got this, 
I forgot to put this up there, but I got a bunch of things that's already up there. This is one I'm about to put up here right quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you take it to this level, I mean, you know, you may not take it to this level or you may not think it's important. That's your business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a stone. I guess this is like three, three to five thousand years old at least. Or somewhere around that. You know what I'm saying? At the least, you know it's... T it's two to three thousand years old without a, without without a doubt so you know what I'm saying um I think these this like I said this uh Cleopatra's needle the false name given by the people who stole it anytime you see artifacts that ain't where they supposed to be someone stole that you know what I'm saying it ain't it ain't proper business but um Think this is supposed to be granite or something something of that nature a very hard stone so this thing could exist as long as it did without breaking you know what I'm saying um the case may be these stones for people who don't know they vibrate energy they record energy and they are a life essence if you can go that deep and understand it or you do the practices so that you can, can contact with it you'll draw out the intelligence for yourself and communicate on those levels dealing with conversations that um, take it to a universal plane that are not necessarily common conversation but for those who know they know um, so I'm just about to use my own harmonics and my own internal energies to um, I guess you can say align with this artifact and also draw down and send up as this is um, the winter solstice, the time of, um, I would say, the Nephis. It's a time when the energy is powerful because you're coming from the thought realm or the unknown, which will later on be manifested, which will be the, um, the springtime when you see life manifest. But life didn't manifest when you saw it manifest. It had to manifest long before that. That's what this time represents. You know what I'm saying? Setting that in motion so that something can manifest later. Um, so whatever the case may be, that's just the premise that I'm, I'm here enjoying this. I would imagine the people in the tropics didn't, ha they don't have, they, they had to put in some proper studies because they didn't have the winter time to come along and tell them to pay attention. So. I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, um, this time has great significance to me personally, without me going into a lot of things, um, the universe aligned itself based on me aligning myself, based on me putting forth a certain request, that the situation at hand has come in hand, so this is a lot more than just me aligning my objects, but this is, um, it's very deep. You know what I'm saying? The reason I'm here and why I'm here. And even me coming to be here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for all intents and purposes, I wouldn't be here if other things didn't fall into place which seemed irrelevant at the time. So I'm just gonna add my object to all my craftsmen. You might wanna think about what I just said. You know what I'm saying? Cause you may not be in contact with a plus 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 thousand year artifact as this Tekken also known as um, Asar's phallus um, Osiris's penis um, Ahavalis and some may know a copied version as the Washington Monument but this isn't Washington and this is not a copy so I'm about to do what I do to a, to a, to a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Whatever.
I keep it real short and simple, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a beautiful lecture. Um, some of the information I knew, but it's always good to just be refreshed in knowledge. And it's also good to just be around your people when they're kicking the knowledge, period. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what I appreciate you.
So most times when black people come to their culture, if they come to their culture, they're being associated with somebody else's culture. So um, I speak about God is a deity. God is a deity. God does not mean deity. So, um, and um, from my perspective, God is the deity to make white people dreams come true. And black man is God because nobody made white people dreams come true more than black people. Crystals. rings for divine purpose this is for you <laughs> this is for me <laughs> will you put this on your finger mm, oh you want me to put it on mm -hmm. okay is this on that finger that's the finger, yeah. Okay. Nice fit there. Uh, oh, it's a little tighter, okay. Oh, you got a little tighter? Yeah. Down there, right there. On your pinky? Wrong side, wrong way. Well, that's where it fits, right? It ain't, it ain't going on no other finger with me. These two rings, they represent um, our coming together. 
you know, um, beneficial leads to go to go in life. You know what I'm saying? Thinking about um, I do what I do, and you on that same journey. But it's my journey, and as you go forth, as you go forth, I come along. It's your journey, but I'm a, I'm gonna be there as you grow as well. So we grow together, we grow apart, we grow strong together. I want you to remember this moment, cause this is um, as I said, during the winter solstice, the thought, the level of thought that makes things come into manifestation. So this is just a memory so that we can have, we look back, be like, hey, whoa, whoa, you remember that? I'm glad you remember that, I do. And to all of those who are out there, understand the power of the ancestors and the power to radiate the divine. Ain't nothing like it. but it's just not true. So that's why I just want you to keep in mind that we go back way further than they tell us. I just love the energy of being with my people and and it's conflicted to me. Can I be honest with, it, with this? I, I hate coming to a building where I don't feel like it's it represent who we are. Right, and I feel like I'm invading them when they have my stuff. Okay, so it's, it's a, you know, it's a two way sword, but I feel like everybody should at least come once because you can get some good powerful information.